Microbit is a pocket-sized computer that introduces you to how software and hardware work together, helping you understand how computers work. It has an LED light display, buttons, sensors, and many input and output features that when programmed, let it interact with you and your world. An everyday example of an input device would be when we type on a phone or a tablet touchscreen or a laptop. Our interaction with the device input then tells the computer what to do. Then the processor makes sense of that command and sends the information to an output device such as the screen, laptop speakers or headphones which will then make something happen like playing a song or a YouTube video. The microbit has various input and output devices. For example, the input devices include the two buttons on the front, A and B, a light sensor, a temperature sensor, a compass and more. The main output device on the microbit is the 5x5 LED display. The microbit can also send and receive information by radio, making it both an input and output device. You can tell your microbit what to do by giving it instructions. Sets of instructions for computers are called programs and are written in code. You can program your microbit in the online MakeCone block or Python text editors. You can also code for the microbit using Scratch. Now we've introduced the microbit, we can start to show you some basic code using the MakeCode block editor and how to send that code from your computer or laptop to the microbit. To access the MakeCode block editor, you will need either a computer with a web browser and internet access, or a mobile device with the free microbit app for Android phones and tablets, or iOS, iPhone and iPad. You'll then need to transfer your program onto the microbit to make it work. You can borrow a microbit device from Barnet Libraries. Just like when you borrow a book, it's issued to your library card. And if you want to keep it longer, you can renew it too. Don't worry if you don't have a microbit device, you can still follow along with the coding. Okay, let's get started with some basic code using the make code block editor. First, we need to visit microbit.org which is this website here. And once you're at that website, you need to go over to the right and click on Let's Code. On the left-hand side here, you've got the Make Code Editor. Click on that. And then you'll get this screen where you can click on New Project. So we're going to give the project a name, and I'm going to call it Emotions Badge, Oops, because that's the activity we're doing today. And then click on create so then it's creating our new project for us so on the left hand side of the screen we're seeing a micro bit simulator here so we can use that to test out our codes and see if it will work on the micro bit in the middle here we've got a list of various commands basic input music and so on and on the right hand side is the area where we'll place our blocks of code. Uh, you can see on start, which makes something happen at the start of the code. And then there's a space here for forever, which uh, makes things happen on the loop over and over again. As I said, we're going to code the micro bit and use it as an emotion badge to sh help show our emotions. So we just need to remove these two because we won't need them for this activity. So we just click on it, delete it, on start and forever. And we'll use the input device buttons on the micro bit, which is button A and button B here. So we need to go to the input category and we need to drag this block across, which says on button A pressed. And just place it here on the right hand side. So now we can add our first emotion. So we go to the basic category and there's one that says show icon. So we need to drag that block, click and drag, and the slots neatly in here with a click. 
And then once we've done that, we just need to change the icon to our smiley face because button A is going to show that we're happy. And there we go. So once the simulator has processed that, we can tap on button A and test our code, and there it is. So now we need to repeat the same steps as before. We can either do it in the same way or if you want to do in a slightly quicker way, we can right click and duplicate because we're only going to change a couple of elements of this code for a button B. So the first bit, what do you think? We need to change button A to be button B. And we said earlier that button B is going to be show that we're sad. So we need to find that clicking here. And we want to show the sad face icon. OK, so let's test that out. Press button B. There's a sad face for B, happy face for A. So we can add a third emotion if we want. Uh, maybe we can kind of do a neutral face or a kind of meh face if you like. Um, we've already assigned button A and button B. Um, so let's do the same again. We'll just duplicate the code again. Uh, and we've got another input we can use for this. So instead of button B, we need to do A and B. Uh, we've still got the show icon in there, but I think I'm going to click on that and delete that because I fancy drawing this, this sort of meh face. So let's go to basic. And there's a block here called show LEDs. So we'll drag that across. Slot it in there, it's a bit bigger, but we can use it by, by uh, clicking inside the boxes here. We can do a sort of, you know, neutral or, you know, neither happy or sad face there. And that should now happen where we press button A and B together on the micro bit. So you can see that's appeared on our simulator. So we can try that A and B. So we're happy for A. B is sad, A and B is just in the middle somewhere. I think we've got the hang of this now, so we're going to add one more input to the mix that uses the microbits motion sensor. So we'll go over here to the input category, tap on that, and we're going to drag across on shake. So the microbit will do something when we shake it. So for this one, we're going to draw another face with the basic. Drag show LEDs across and slot it in again as before. Um, and I think I'm going to try and make a slightly confused face, which is one I might make if someone decided to shake me. So uh, let's do an eye here, maybe. Eye over here. Maybe a mouth like that. Sort of sideways, slightly confused looking face. And so now we've done that, we can use it in the simulator. We've got shake simulator. We can just move the mouse around like that. You can see our confused face. So there you go. Remember, you can draw any face you like uh, in, with the show LEDs. So why don't you try some of your own? OK, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to transfer the code we've created to the micro bit. So if you've managed to loan a micro bit from Barnet Libraries, um, we'll show you how you can do that. You get a micro USB cable with it. So I'm using a laptop, uh, a Chromebook, in fact, today. Um, but if you're using a laptop, it's fairly straightforward or a PC. So first of all, there's a big download button down here. You need to tap on that. And it will download the code we've created in what's called a .hex file. Or hex file so you'll get this notification it tells you what to do connect the micro bit to your computer with usb which i've done already and then you need to move it to the micro bit so the downloaded file will appear if you're on windows it'll be in your downloads and you just right click on it and show in folder uh, on my device i just need to i'm going to download again and it says show in folder here so as I say, if you're in Windows Explorer, you'll be able to see the micro bit plugged in. And here it is. So I've downloaded it a few times there, so I'll just grab one of those. And I'm just clicking, holding the mouse button down, 
and I'm going to drop it there in the micro bit. And as I do that, there's a little light on the micro bit which flashes. And when that finishes flashing, let's have a look at it as you're doing it. And it's, it should say completed on your screen. And my micro bit light has stopped flashing, so that means I've sent the code to my micro bit. Now we've transferred the code, we can see the micro bit in action. It's our smiley face, our sad face, our meh face. Let's give it a shake. Our confused face. <laughs>